All right, so in order to map a sales process to an uh, opportunity page layout or just like an opportunity uh, in general, what you need to do is create a record type. So if I come over here to opportunities and I click record types, I can see I can click new. And I first need to create a sales process. Actually, it's going to take me through this process. So I'm just going to say that's master process. I'm going to leave it as it comes out of the box in this test environment. Now I'm going to come back to opportunities. If I go to record types, I can say new record type. Um, I'm going to say primary sales process. Um, and then down here, I'm going to click which profiles have access to this. Hit next. Pick the page layout. And hit save. So you can see this uh, sales process is mapped to this record type. I'm gonna create one more record type just so you can see how this works. A live instance. I'm gonna make this active. I'm also gonna make this available to everybody. Oops. I'm gonna give it the same sales process. If I had another one, I could assign a different one, right? Same thing, I could assign it a different layout if I wanted to. <clears throat> now, if I come into Salesforce, I have two different sales record types. If I come over here and I hit new, I have the primary sales process and secondary sales process. So a lot of businesses use this in a lot of different ways. You might have a direct sales uh, process, a partner sales process, whatever it is, you actually have to create the record type, map the process to the record type, and also assign the page layout to that record type uh, in order to get all three of those aligned.